What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video So we have a rumor going around the block that the Pelicans are closely monitoring Bradley Beal's situation So I thought of a trade, I don't know if it's a good enough trade or not You guys can be the judge of that But I was saying maybe like the 4th pick overall this year of course Drew Holiday probably in the trade as well And the reason why I would uh, say Drew Holiday could be in the trade Because the Wizards could play him up until the trade deadline And they can then... They could turn around and trade Drew Holiday to wherever they wanted to and get some more assets for him. So I thought a trade like this could make sense. Obviously, John Wall is not going to be healthy, so Drew Holiday would be kind of on his own over there for a while. And then you have the second round pick, 2021 uh, pick as well from the Lakers, and the fourth pick. So you might need to throw in Josh Hart or something like that, possibly maybe even Brandon Ingram if need be. But I'm going to go ahead and stay away from doing that. I know I did a Pelicans rebuild just the other day. But, like I said, I'm going to make sure that uh, this trade goes through. Actually, they do agree no matter what, so I didn't even need to uh, and I, I didn't even need to have trade override on. So let's go ahead and turn trade override off. And just like that, we have Bradley Beal on the New Orleans Pelicans now. It would definitely be interesting to see if they did get him as well. But uh, let's go ahead and jump in the draft. Of course, we all know who we're getting here. So uh, Mr. Zion Williamson doesn't even need to be discussion, to be honest. So let's go ahead and make sure it happens. And just like, okay, with seven offers, but I'm not even going to entertain them. Zion Williamson, welcome to the New Orleans Pelicans. And just like in the last video, I'm probably not going to do much this first season. Very curious to see how this team would do, honestly. Jalil Okafor, we're going to go ahead and sign him up. Qualifying offers, Stanley Johnson, Chuck Diallo. Uh, Chuck Diallo, I, I definitely wouldn't mind bringing him back. But as far as everything else, they get a $7.40 million. Stanley Johnson can go. Alfred Penn can go. Everybody can basically go besides uh, Chuck Diallo, which I just renounced him on accident, but that's okay. And then Julius Randle could probably go as well. Just in, uh, Let's go ahead and see, though. Alonzo, Beal, and Etwan Moore. And we have Josh Hart. Etwan Moore uh, did play the small forward at one point. But uh, we probably won't get. Uh, so Etwan Moore is still here. We have Zion and then Jalil Okafor. So we do need a starting center, like, quite a bit. So let's go ahead and see if we can get ourselves a starting center out here. So we have uh, how much money? We had, like, uh, $27 million. So we should be able to get a center Julius Randle does make sense in a way, though, if you wanted to play him at the center spot. He is a little short, though. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to try maybe for something different. Vucevic, we can get Ennis Cantor, Lloyd Collie Stein, Jamal McGee. Although I think you guys most likely in real life would like to see, uh, or you guys watching would probably want to see Julius Randle back. So I will give him an offer, and then we can play Julius Randle at the center spot. So let's go with that. So we'll sign Julius Randle. And then as far as a um, backup point guard is concerned, Let's see if we can get like maybe Delon Wright or something like Austin Rivers could be interesting. Uh, so let's go with like Julius Randle and Austin Rivers is cool with me. So we can get those two and then we'll move Julius Randle to the center spot or play. Yeah, play Julius Randle at the center spot. Or what we could do is play Lonzo Ball at the point guard. Actually, no, we're going to play Brandon Ingram in small forward. I was about to say, or we could move Brandon Ingram to the bench and play Zion at the small forward and play Julius Randle at the power forward. I mean, the spacing isn't going to be that great. We start Okafor, so I think I'd rather go the different route and start Julius Randle. Let's see how much uh, he goes down. He only goes down once, so we're going to move him to the center. Lonzo and Austin Rivers run the point guard. Shooting guard uh, will be operated by uh, Josh Hart and Bradley Beal. Small forward, so we, uh, Solomon Hill is not going to get any minutes. Zion Williamson, and then we have a backup center. So we need either a backup small forward or a backup power forward, so let's look for one real quick. Armel Anthony, Jake Lehman, uh, what else we got? Thaddeus Young, Jeff Green, Jermichael Green. I'm actually cool with Jermichael Green coming off the bench for a couple of seasons. So let's get Jermichael Green, and I'll call that a season. So let's go ahead, stimulate the next season, and let's see how a Bradley Beal, Zion Williamson team would do with Jewish Randall back on the team as well. Let's see how this team would do, man. I'm very curious. Go ahead and simulate. As we all expected, Mr. Zion Williamson is your rookie of the year. It makes sense to me. Sergi Baca, six man, Giannis Antetokounmpo, defensive player. Most of the is Sean Whiteside, Mike D'Antoni is coach of the year. And James Harden is most valuable player. So there was a report that just came out, though, that uh, James Harden and Chris Paul's relationship is unsalvageable. Those two just do not dislike, just don't like each other, I guess. So it is, uh, I mean, they went from being friends to not liking each other at all. So obviously, those two were not a good fit. They don't like each other's play styles. So expect a trade coming soon from the Rockets, guys. So you could see Chris Paul being moved. I would doubt they would move James Harden because, you know, James Harden is one of the best players in the NBA. But I guess we'll see. But as far as the player stats are concerned, we had 24 and a half from Bradley Beal, 19 points from Julius or from Zion, and then 15 from Julius Randle. So 
Julius Randle is not bad at that center spot at all. Brandon Ingram at 12, John Michael Green at 10.3, and Okafor had 9.9 .9 off the bench. Lonzo with 9 and 10, which is what I want. So everybody just kind of serves a purpose on this team, and I can't complain about that by any means. We're facing the Golden State, or actually, no, I'm not the Lakers. I thought it was the Lakers for some reason. We're facing the Oklahoma City Thunder. So let's go ahead and simulate current round. We're up 1-0 on the Thunder. 1-1, 2-1. Okay, they're going to go up 2-1 on us. 2-2, we evened it up. 3-2, go up 3-2. Nope. And we're going to a game seven. And we lose in seven games, which that's okay, because like I said, this is just the first season. I just kind of wanted to see how this team would do. And we'll build from there. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Brandon Ingram is going to be a free agent this offseason. Alonzo and Josh Hart will be back. I did fix their contracts because the last video uh, we did this and their contracts ended up getting messed up and they ended up becoming free agents this year. And that's not what, when they're supposed to be free agents. So I ended up fixing that. So that should be good now. But the Denver Nuggets, Toronto Raptors, and the Nuggets win in six games and they, were, they are the champions. Okay, let's get to this offseason though. League meetings is going to reject that. And then for the draft lottery... Let's go ahead and see what pick we're going to have. We're going to have the 21st pick overall. That's not too bad. Alvin Gentry, uh, we're going to go ahead and fire our trainer. And let's fire him. Alvin Gentry is supposed to uh, be our um, coach for the foreseeable future. But I'm going to go ahead and fire him because his ratings are kind of bad. Let's get Jacob Underwood. And uh, our assistant coach isn't bad. Head scout, let's get this guy and sign him. Assistant GM, let's get this guy and sign him. And I'll let the CFO get uh, hired by the CPU. But we have the 21st pick, 18th pick, and okay, so there's no way we can't just package all four of these picks and like go higher in the draft, right? So let's see if we can make that happen. So Zion, Jewish Randall, and Bradley Beal are here to stay. Do they complement each other very well? Maybe not. Jewish Randall does have a you know above average three point shot though, and then Zion does his thing down low. So I mean, it's not too bad. It's not like it sucks by any means. But these three are the main three pieces. Of course Lonzo being a, a you know a big piece as well but Brandon Ingram is what I'm undecided on whether or not I kind of want to uh, experiment and trade him or what so we have the 21st pick 18th pick 22nd pick and the 28th pick so uh, as far as what I want to do right now uh, the 10th pick we could probably move we move all the way up to number two I'm just gonna go down the list right so let's see how far we can get up let's go number three Okay, they want Bradley Beal. That is absolutely not happening. He's the title of the video, so that doesn't make sense. Let's go. Let's try to aim lower. What about the ninth pick from the Pistons? Okay, they don't agree to that. All right, could we get the 10th pick from the Celtics? Um, where Or the 11th pick from the Magic? Let's try this. No, okay. Could we get, let's see, the 5th pick from the Bulls, the 19th pick? I don't want to go that low. The 13th pick from the Jazz. No. Wow. Okay. So we can't even get the 13th pick. The 18th pick from the Wizards. Let's trade with them again. And we just uh, move up like three spots and trade like three second round picks. So I don't know what I'm going to get here. But I mean, let's see what the 18th pick and maybe Chuck Diallo could get me, I guess, since we just traded all these picks. Bill McGee and Daniel Gafford, Thomas Bryant and Damari Carroll, Kirsten Thompson, Bruno Fernando, Vika Zubac. Isaiah Thomas, Norman Powell, Larry Nance, and Alfred Camino. So Larry Nance off the bench would be kind of nice. But uh, I do like the idea of getting Thomas Bryant as our backup center. But I probably will just draft somebody. So let's go ahead and see if we can get somebody in this draft. And that should be fine. The 18th spot, Brian Antoine. Uh, 76 overall. Let's go ahead and take him. And then let's send to the end here. And then, guys, I don't think... Let's see. Uh, let's sign Brian Antoine. Player options, Lonzo and Josh Hart. And qualifying offers, Trayvon Blewett. And that's good right there. Moratorium day, negative $43.72 million. I'm going to renounce like all these guys. Besides, oh, Etwan, you know, Solomon Hill, Etwan Moore. Lonzo is already back on the team. And then Brandon Ingram is the only free agent that we have to worry about. So Lonzo and Austin Rivers is good. Josh Hart and Brian Antoine. No small forward right now. Power forward spot, we have a lot of that. So uh brandon ingram man i gotta make a decision on brandon ingram do i want to bring back mr brandon ingram really i kind of don't because i just don't think it fits but at the same time i mean i kind of have to bring it back right so what i think i'll do is what spot could i make better the power forward the center spot small forward spot is probably what we can make better so um could we do it like a sign in trade with brandon ingram and then maybe bring in a better starting small forward I think that'll be the move. So let's do something like that. Let's get Brandon Ingram back on the roster. 
and uh, I can't even afford him. It says I can't, which that's kind of actually BS because I, I'm going to have the bird rights no matter what. So he'll be back with the team no matter what, but that's all we can really do. So um, let's go ahead and just skip through this and then we'll force Brandon Ingram back on the team and we'll probably do a sign and trade with him because like I, like I said, this game is glitched right now because I messed with um, everything. So let's go ahead and like mess with uh, their contracts, I guess. Not really. It's just I... Traded them before the draft because you know how you're not allowed to accept their options until after the draft. I traded them before the draft, so I think it kind of glitched it and made everything mess up. But let's get Brandon Ingram back on the roster wherever he may be. Just trade a late second rounder. That's never going to affect the video. And then let's find Brandon Ingram instead of I don't know why I'm searching for him. I could just like player search it, which that's probably what I'll do here in a second if I can't find him. Uh, Bi Brandon Ingram. Don't see him yet. Or is he still a free agent? I wouldn't think he's a free agent. Um, I guess we gotta do player search. Or is he a free agent? I doubt it. So player finder, Ingram. Go with Ingram, and then we'll find him real quick. Do a sign in trade, and we should be good. And okay, where is he? View results. He is with the Grizzlies. I must have passed him. So let's get Brandon Ingram back. On the team and then we should be good although brandon ingram with the grizzlies wouldn't be too bad so i must have missed him all right now that we've got brandon ingram here let's turn off both those settings and then we'll turn uh, and then we'll find a trade for brandon ingram to possibly upgrade the roster so brandon ingram let's see what we could get for him i know i should probably just keep him here but uh, i mean i kind of did that in the last we could get auto porter he would fit nicely but uh like i said demar Derozan, 30 years old miles turner will barton evan fournier miles bridges Gordon Hayward. So let me kind of aim high for this. So small forward spot. Can't get Giannis, of course. Zach Levine's probably gonna be too, uh, too uh, not gonna fit and can't play the small forward. Jimmy Butler. We honestly could probably get Jimmy Butler, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, we kind of need somebody who's. Uh, let's see. LeBron James, Luka Doncic, uh, Michael Porter Jr. He does have a better three-point shot, but you know what, guys? Honestly, after all this, I think I'll just keep him. I don't even know what I could get. I kind of need someone that's not going to demand the ball too much. Clay Thompson fits the... You know what? If I could get Clay Thompson, let me see where Clay Thompson's at nowadays. And I might try to trade for Clay at that small forward spot. He's going to play defense, and he's going to shoot the ball. He doesn't need the ball in his hands to be successful, and uh, that's the perfect fit, I think. So let's load in 21 draft class. We might be able to get Klay Thompson because due to his injury, he is a little bit worse and probably his trade value has gone down. So player finder, Klay's probably on the Warriors, right? Let's see if he's on the Warriors. He is not on the Warriors, but Kevin Durant is. Okay, so let's find him. Mr. Thompson, Klay, Mr. Thompson. And a few results. Klay Thompson has a torn right ACL still uh it's probably not gonna let me trade for him he's on the lakers so let me see would it even let me trade for him i doubt it would let me try actually uh yeah you cannot trade players who are injured which is not true but so what i'll do is i will simulate this next season and then if i do end up getting clay thompson i'll stop the video and show you guys real quick but uh we're gonna go ahead and simulate at the end of the season, we end up going up 57 and 25. So there was really no reason to make any big changes, honestly, because this team just did so good. So I didn't really want to trade Brandon Ingram, and I didn't. He's still here. But we had 23 and a half points from Bradley Beal, 20 points from Zion Williamson, 17 and a half from Julius Randle, about 13.3 from Brandon Ingram. So yeah, this team's not doing too bad. Lonzo had 8.7 and 10, and then Josh Hart with 5.8. So not too bad at all. Honestly, guys, if you can hear that uh, warning in the background, it's so loud. Uh, yeah, there is another storm coming. So uh, I will be unplugging my stuff as soon as I can because I am not getting my stuff right again. That is a promise. 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two, though. We are on the Phoenix Suns 3-2 and we beat them in six games. Awesome. All right, now we're facing the Golden State Warriors. We're going to simulate their current round against, okay, 1-0, 1-1, 2-1. Uh, one, one, one. Can we go up 3-1, 2-2, 3-2? 3-3, go to a game seven, and I definitely wanted to stop it, but I didn't. I didn't. It was not fast enough. Not fast enough for the game. So what I'll do, guys, I think I'm going to keep the roster somewhat the same. Uh, I guess we could make that trade for Klay Thompson just to see how it would do. So I'll try it. I don't know if it's going to make a big difference, but we'll try it. I mean, why not? What's, what's, what's the worst that can happen? So once we can make a trade, I will be doing it. So let's go ahead and reject this and go to the draft lottery. 
and let's get uh let's see nope okay we don't have our pick obviously we gave it to the lakers as well so we're not gonna have a, a major pick Dick Underwood. let's go to the nba draft let's do we have our pick let's see where it's at uh the 29th pick so brandon ingram is about to be traded for mr clay thompson if we can make it happen so let's see traded him back to the lakers how realistic is that so Clay Thompson for Brandon Ingram, not Beal. Uh, Brandon Ingram, where's Brandon Ingram? Straight up. Let's see if they'll do this. No. Okay, but we're going to be able to get him. Trust me. Uh, okay. How about I give you Brian Antoine as well, I guess. Uh, that is a little too much. Brandon Ingram and Brian Antoine for Clay. They don't want to do that. Okay. How about first round pick? How about a future first round pick? I'll never use in the video. No. Okay. Um, how about what else do you want? Uh, let's give you zion uh lamello okay wow the fact that they won't take brian antoine for him is so irritating do i really have to trade like three first round okay and am i really gonna trade another first round pick just to get clay they won't even take this okay brandon ingram our first round pick this year and i'll throw in brian antoine and second round actually no not second rounders and a few first rounders let's see if they'll take that for clay if they don't take this it's a bust okay we get clay that was just way too much to give up but in this case we're gonna give clay thompson the small forward spot i just was gonna see if it would make any difference if we had clay here or not so that is what my plan was here so guys i know that trade was very unrealistic but i just kind of wanted to see what it could do so qualifying offers none zion definitely gonna bring him back and then qualifying offers uh none so let's oh let's bring back josh hart though that's for sure uh let's see where's josh hart how much money is mr Josh Hart wanting probably quite a bit. Uh, what do we even have? It's Lonzo, Barry Bill, Clay Thompson, Zion, and Julius Randle. We don't even have a bench. So what I'm gonna do is fill out the bench. Then went to next season. Let's see how this goes. At the end of the season, the last season of the video, Zion Williamson is your most valuable player. We went 54 and 28. Jalen Green is your rookie of the year. Markel Fultz is your sixth man on the Grizzlies. Anthony Davis wins defensive player, and Cole Anthony is your most improved. Jacob Underwood is your coach of the year. So nice stuff. From there and looking pretty good here zion makes all defensive first team as well we are the first seed against the dallas mavericks here are the player stats let's see what they're looking like 23.7 from uh zion Williamson, 20 and a half from bradley beal and 16.7 from uh Drew Randall. we did sign dennis schroeder off the bench clay thompson out about 15 as well and then lonzo ball at a nine and a half and nine so i mean this team didn't do too bad our bench you know it was just kind of filled out as i could get it uh, but the Dallas Mavericks jump 1-0 on us, 2-0. Are we actually going to get eliminated by the Dallas Mavericks? We're down 3-0, 3-1. I just kind of want to see what 2K has in store for me because this is what it's doing. And we get eliminated in six games. What a freaking video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that very much. Wow, we literally just lost to the Dallas Mavericks in six games, man. We didn't even put up a fight. Not even a little bit of a fight. Wow. All right, guys. So that's how our Bradley Beal Pelicans team would do. So... Even after I traded for Clay Thompson, it did not go very well for me. So keep that in mind. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. We got Utah and Houston, and then we got Miami and Boston. So I'm having bad luck so far um, getting these first round or uh, making winning a championship. The last two times I've got eliminated in the first round. So not good at all. And the Miami Heat win the championship. RJ Hampton is your finals MVP. Thank you guys. This is Crushables, and I'm saying.